Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Diligent Minds Podcast, where I talk about your growth and your mindset, and I provide practical steps for you to become a better you. I am your host, Dorian Jones. Let's get into it. Hey, what's going on? We are back with another episode. We are at episode 15. I can't believe we are at episode 15. A lot of people say that once you get to episode 3, 4, Five people burn out and they don't make it to 15 or even 10. But guess what? We here. And I say we because it's not possible without all of you. Everybody who's supported me, everybody who's listened, referred other people, shared it, whatever you did, uh, you're a part of this growth as well. You're a part of this process. And I want to say thank you. And I want to ask everybody to go ahead and leave a rating and review wherever you're listening to this. It really helps with my, with my ratings and it also helps other people discover the show as well. And I want to say welcome to all my new listeners and thank you to all the returning listeners. I want to just give you a little update on things that I've been working on during the week. Uh, this past week, I did a lot of research for new places to speak. I'm looking to fill my calendar up for 2020 with me going back out on the road and going back out to speak at locations. So if you have any personal development conferences or self-help conferences that you enjoy that you think may be a good fit, Go ahead and send me a message on Instagram and let me know. And then I'll reach out to the organization and try and set something up so that I can get out there, maybe get to your city. You can see me out live on stage, see how my energy is. Make sure we pumping everybody up to become that best version of themselves. So we jumping right into the daily tip. Today's daily tip is simple. Just spread positive vibes. Give out that energy that you like to receive. Tell somebody that they look good. Open the door for somebody. Say thank you. Say please. Uh, If you see somebody that needs some help, just go ahead and give them a little assistance and don't expect anything in return. Just spread positive vibes all the way around, because remember, that energy that you put out is the energy that you will receive back. Today's episode, we are talking about playing catch up, playing catch up in life when you feel like you where you should be a little bit further. You should be having a little bit more done, but you don't. So you beat yourself up over those things. You always tell yourself that you should have done this or that you should have took in this opportunity when you had it. We're talking about that today. That's what we're talking about. We're going to help you play catch up on life. In order for you to play catch up on life and for you to get caught up where you think you should be, first thing you need to do is change your surroundings. Get into inspiring sub- surroundings, things that are going to motivate you and inspire you to be better, things that are going to add to your to your self-value, things that are going to raise your stock, not the things that are going to hold you down and keep you in the same places where you've been. I had to get out of my environment. It was nothing there for me. Next thing you know, I'm looking around this. Everything is the same every single day. I had to get around more positive people, people that are moving forward. You need to be in forward motion, be around environments that produce that and that and that uh, motivates you to do that. If you don't get in those environments and those surroundings, then you're going to feel stuck because it's going to be a spiral. You're going to keep repeating the same steps day after day. And you're going to continue to feel like you have to play catch up because you're not getting any further. One way to do that is by changing your circle. Get surrounded by others who are forward moving because if you're around those same people that are doing the same things that you guys were doing together in the past. Then you're going to keep repeating the same mistakes before you may feel left out. You may feel like, OK, I can't turn my back on them. I need to follow along. These are my boys from high school. These are my these are my people. This is my girl that I went. I was dealing with. We went through so much together. But you may have gone a different path. You may you may be on that same road, but then you see that other path that you need to take and you don't want to jump over because you don't want to feel left out. You need to move yourself from around those people. You need to get around other individuals who are moving forward, have the same mentality and they want to see something more out of life. And then you're going to see a lot of things that are What's supposed to happen for you in the past start to happen now because you're starting to surround yourself in different environments and different people. You can't procrastinate or overthink anything. A lot of times when we procrastinate is because we're scared or we're overthinking is because we're scared and we're second guessing anything that we're doing. We're thinking of the worst situations or the worst case scenario instead of thinking of the best possible outcomes. So we'll sit there and we'll say, OK, all right, I'll, I'll do it later. I'll do it tomorrow. And that goes in your whole life, not just with your growth. That goes with you doing even doing something as the dishes or washing clothes. I'm going to get to it a little bit later. I'm going to push this off until tomorrow. 
No, I just start attacking it now. Just get there and get into the habit and get into the mode. Uh, we talked about it in another episode. Where we talk about you forming habits. It's all about you replacing that bad habit with a good habit, not trying to remove that bad habit. In order to stop procrastinating and overthinking, you have to just start moving and just start doing and don't do too much thinking at all. Anything that you start, you must make sure that you finish it before you move on to the next obstacle. You can't have too much going on. I was a victim of this before. I'm so guilty of doing this because I have so many small activities. I'm doing this small activity. I'm working on this. I'm working on this. And these are two totally different things. They're not going in the same direction at all. And it throws me off because I'm always giving 60% here, 40% here. I'm taking away from that 60 to give another 20 elsewhere when I should be giving 100% of my commitment and time to this one task. And then I can make sure that everything else snowballs behind that. So make sure that you focus in on that one task that's gonna be the foundation of everything else. That goes for when I started speaking, I decided, okay, let me develop the brand of Dorian Jones. So everything else that, that I wanna do is gonna be surrounded around this. Even things that you may not know that I'm involved in is gonna be surrounded by this because I'm already building the foundation for myself. This is where everything starts, but everything else is going to be a branch from this main tree. That was the main thing that I really took from this past year alone. Start something that's going to be the foundation of everything else that I want to do. And I learned to use my time way better. I never waited until the last minute. I like to be beforehand with everything. I don't like to stop and wait to the deadline till I got a few days before. Most of the time, something is going to go wrong. Put something off the next day and then that next day come. You get more tasks that get tackled on top of it and you put that off and then more things pile on top of it. And next thing you know, you just feel like you're overwhelmed. You feel like you bury with so much. And now you can't move forward because the thing that you really needed to do is now overpowered by everything else that's come your way. So just make sure that you're taking action now and using your time wisely. Don't waste your time. Just apply everything that you got in you to the task that you have at hand right now. Be clear on what your intentions are. What are your reasons behind doing all this? Why do you want to why do you want to move forward? What situations do you want to change? Most of the time when we're dealing with stress is because we're dealing with a situation that we want to change. We're in a situation where where we look at life and say, this isn't what I had envisioned. So now you've become stressed, whether it becomes financial, whether it's from a relationship, it could be from your own well-being. Anything that you're stressing about, it's all because you want to change it. In order to change it, you need to make sure that you make your intentions clear. Focus on your own race, not others. We can get distracted by seeing other people living their best life. We can see other people doing the things that we wish we can do or we wish we were doing at that moment. But you don't know what that person did to get there. You don't know that that person went through so much in order to be able to get there. Or you don't know if they if they even faking it. You don't know if it's real. There's so many things that are fictitious nowadays that, that are put out there to make us question ourselves, make us question the decisions that we're making. But you remember, focus on that one lane. Focus on that lane that you're in. Don't worry about the other people in the race. Don't look and, don't look and see how far behind they are. Don't look to see how, how far ahead they are. Because you're going to get to that finish line. It's just that some take a little longer than others. Don't worry about that. Just focus on you and you're going to get there. Last but definitely not least, let the past be the past. Focus on making your future better with your actions today. Don't dwell on what you didn't do uh, two years ago. Don't dwell on what you didn't do yesterday. Do it today. It's okay. You forgot to do it yesterday. Don't worry about it. Don't make that same mistake so that you complain about it the next day. Just do it now. Because like we said earlier, those things will pile up and it'll never get done. So make sure that you're not focusing on the past. Let the past be the past. Let bygones be bygones. Learn to forgive people. Uh, I'm a forgiving person. Anybody that had anything bad against me or anybody that felt like we had a bad situation together, I'm over that. I'm over it. I'm too big for that because it's going gonna, it's gonna to crowd my brain and I don't need that. I don't need the negative energy. I don't need to think about it. You don't either. So I want you to go ahead and apply these things daily. I want you to go ahead and help yourself. Uh, don't look for anybody else to help you. You want to play catch up in life. You want to go ahead and get further and become that person that you want to be, the person you know you do, that you're destined to be, you need to go ahead and take action for yourself and then you'll catch up to where you need to be and then you'll be even further. Next thing you know, you'll be soaring. You'll spread your wings and then you'll be flying high above everybody else. But just take it one step at a time and make sure that you're taking yourself serious and never let your foot off the gas. That wraps up today's episode. I want to thank you for tuning in. Like I said earlier, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, leave a rating and review wherever you're listening to it. Go ahead and have a nice week, everybody. And I wish you nothing but success. And I will talk to you later.